We actually met uh, one time uh, <laughs> years ago. How was it? I'm sorry. Oh, shit. No, don't. I was going to ask if you remember it, and you don't. I think because I, do. I, I think said I do, one actually. thing to you. It's the only thing I've ever said to you in my life. So we were at a party, right? Was it at VidCon? No, 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 no. It was at uh, I can't even remember whose party it was, but it was it was super crowded. Okay. And I don't even know why I was invited because okay. I'm like I like not in that scene. Okay. And I don't recognize like influencers. Yeah. And I I recognized you. And the fact that I don't recognize influencers, I don't know if you've ever. I don't know if you know this, but if you don't recognize, if you don't know who a social media influencer is mm-hmm. to their face, they get mad. Oh, my God. Yes. They get super oh, mad. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, what, you don't know who I am? Yes. This, oh, that, no. You haven't seen my Fortnite makeup tutorials? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Yes. So anyway, so I recognized you, and I was like, that's Logan Paul. And it was before... Tokyo? Yeah. It was. I mean, it was before Logan Paul was Logan Paul. Oh, is it like Vine Days? I think it was like maybe Vine was I had either died or it was oh, just dying. Interesting. Right? Okay. Okay. So anyway, so when I saw you on Vine before all that, like I'm checking out Vine. Like I don't watch a ton of just social media I influence. Gonna, I, I don't ask. recognize yeah. anyone. So I like I I'm checking out Vine just to like see what it is yeah. and and to write it off as something that I don't want to do. <laughs> so I see like I see you, and I'm like this guy. This guy's gonna make it. Oh really? Like this guy, this guy is super charismatic. He's doing like he, you know, the Vine stuff isn't for me, but like he's doing all the things that like hit. Like he's in his work ethic. He's putting out a ton of shit. And I, I said, I said that to myself. There's only one other person I said that about, and that was Andrew Bachelor, right? Ooh. And he and both of you guys made yeah. it. So anyway, and this is before anyone had made it. So fast forward a few years later, and I see you at that party, and you know, I probably had a few. And you're the only person I recognize there, which is why I don't go to parties. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm going to go tell this guy um, what someone told me when I was starting out. But I'm going to go tell this guy that I think he's going to make it. And I bet, I bet that'll make him feel real good. So I went and oh. I tapped you on the shoulder. I was like, hey, man, come I here. I'm so nervous. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I, I tapped you on the shoulder. I was like, hey, man, come here. And then you like, you know, crouch down and shit because I'm all a fucking Ewok. And I was like, <laughs> hey, man, I just want you to know you're going to make it. And you were like. Really, dude? That's so amazing. That's my best Logan Paul impression, by the way. (laughs) Dead on. You're like, really, dude? Thanks. And the party was so chaotic and crowded that we were literally like separated right then. No way. No way. (laughs) So the conversation continues right now. Right. So so it ended, and I'm I'm looking back, going, I didn't even get to explain myself. I just walked up to a complete stranger. (laughs) I didn't introduce myself. I just said, hey, man, you're going to make it. And he said, thank you. And then that was it. No way. Yeah. Well, that, of course I knew who you were. I don't know if you know that, if it was evident, but uh, bro, I, like, yeah, I had I a assume. fanboy moment. I fa- That's why I was like, I was probably like, oh my God, thank you. Like, was <laughs> right. that? Bro. No, I, I don't assume everyone knows who I am, but I assume you did yeah. because of your reaction and yeah, everything. Yeah. But I didn't get to explain. As far as you know, I was like stalking you or something like that or it was like it's a fucking prank bro that's crazy or whatever or you were like just giving him a positive medical assessment you're gonna make it man and (laughs) he was just like thank god exactly i've had this cough going for a while you're gonna live (laughs) you are gonna live but so i actually got that idea because someone did that for me and i don't i'm not like a name dropper but um you should drop that name dude robin williams shut up shit yeah yeah so back in like maybe 2012 um, I have to. I, I have the privilege of shooting this little tiny thing, this little scene with Robin Williams that was part of a promotional thing that he was doing for one of those Penguins movies, right? Yeah. And it was one of those scenarios where they invite all the press out, mm. and then each member of the press gets to film something with him too. Yeah. It's like a press junket yeah. or something like that. And I was invited from like the social media category, which yeah. at the time people weren't doing. So I was like, "This is crazy." And I feel I'm like the only person here who's not a real journalist, and I don't work for a magazine, yeah. but like. Okay, you know, like when you're kind of in one of those scenarios. So we go to this like hotel banquet room that they rented out and each group got time alone with Robin Williams. So it was me, him, his handler and like a cameraman and producer, right? And let me tell you something about Robin Williams when I met him. First of all, Robin Robin Williams is exactly the guy you want him to be when you meet him. (sighs) He is on. He's that. He he is the genie from Aladdin. He's like going a million miles an hour. Everything's a joke and it's incredible to watch. And you just sit there like, oh, oh, this like so funny. I forgot to laugh. But literally because you're in such shock. You're like, oh, this is amazing. But the good thing about him is I know a lot of comedians who can do that. But some of them are so talented they can't turn it off. You ever met a comedian mm, like that? Mm, and yeah, you're just like, dude, have a conversation, yeah, please. Yeah. Stop joking. Yeah. 
But he can turn it off. And when he did finally turn it off, he pulled me aside and he's like, hey, man, I want you to know I'm a big fan of your stuff and I've been watching it. I can't believe that you just got an idea and that you just went out and yeah. did it and you just started filming yourself. Like, that's so crazy to me. No one handed you or anything like that. Yeah. And I think you're going to do really well, man. Keep going. Damn. And I like, I like die. Like when I die as an old man, that'll be the second time I die. I was going to, I died right there in that moment. I was going to ask you, is that pe- like, how do you peak? On, like, is that peak? That was peak. Robin Williams said he's a fan of yours. I came. <laughs> literally, literally. Yeah. Like, how do you, yeah. how do you fucking beat that? Yeah, you dude? don't. That's insane. You don't. Everything that else is, is secondary to that, dude. Unbelievable. But the thing is before that, now this is back in 2012. So before that, I had so much doubt about where the industry was going because it was all so undefined. And in fact, there there was no definition of making it in the social media world, mm-hmm. and there still really isn't. Does that mean a certain amount of followers? Does that mean a certain amount of money? Does that mean you are uh, on some TV show? Who Like, who knows? Right. Who the hell knows what it is? But he basically assured me that whatever I was doing was it. Like, that that was fine. Yeah. And... I felt it necessary that like, man, I got to pass that on to pass a couple the torch. of people. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, wow. first off, thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank and you. look, you made it, man. You got your own, you, your name's on the wall. <laughs> I mean, of course, we, we're at your house. <laughs> Just so you guys know, we are not in, a, in an actual studio. We are filming in Logan Paul's house like his cleaning ladies in the next room if she runs the vacuum the it's gonna screw this entire podcast we love the toilet you, is over here when you flush the toilet you can hear the turds pass overhead in the pipes that's how much of a of an actual house we are in how does it, it feel- just expose me bro. <laughs> how does it feel to know that the torch he just handed you on impulsive was originally lit by robin williams I feel like i need to pass it to someone more <laughs> you, worthy you gotta pass ASAP. it on God immediately dang. well i've oh man I've, I've always wanted you to do well like i've always thank you always been rooting for you thank right you. and i want you to pass it on to someyone else whoever mm, that is mm. i i've had um i haven't passed and don't the do torch. it to get laid sorry but don't no i won't i won't <laughs> hey baby i, won't. I got a pol- i got a podcast no, no, no. I go, I go, my I, name's on the wall. I th- my name's in the middle of a word. That is a real word. And I just put my last name in there. That's not how you spell impulsive, by the way, for anyone wondering. Like, I feel so bad for the person who's in the middle of a spelling bee and they go, <clears throat> impulsive. And they spell it like this because of this fucking show. <laughs> Happened to me with the word Mackie. I don't know if you remember this. Kettle. Do you remember Andy Kettle? This kid on our football team, his last name was spelled Kettle. K-E-T-T-E-L, which is not the correct spelling. They gave me Kettle in the spelling bee. And I spell it like that. I got eliminated in the first fucking round. God. Fuck you, Andrew dude, Kettle. Dude, Robin Williams would be turning in his fucking grave if you heard that story. Andrew bro. Kettle, dude, you know you were a great wide receiver. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but dude, yes, I, 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 that moment, I am honored that the moment you don't remember. Go ahead. No, no, I do. I, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's fine. It, like it, the party was crazy. It was. But um, I appreciate it, and I do think it's an important moment, and I'm honored that. You chose me because, dude, like I said, I have uh, I've watched you since conception. Mac, actually, Yikes. over there, is my friend since I was six years old. Best friend. Mac. And he introduced me to your stuff. Oh, nice. Equals three. Thanks, Mac. And, um, you good over there? Yeah, I'm great. You get your Diet Coke or anything? Uh, fries. Fries. All right. Can really? Get Mac some fries? Can, can, can you get him some fries? You want to call it? I mean, yeah. I imagine if he had Uber Eats. You could do that. <laughs> um, I've had I've had a couple of those. I haven't passed the torch, but I've had definitely had moments where I commend young creators for their creativity. Actually, um, David from Vine Days back in the day when David was still in college, David Dobrik. Okay, I I, I was texting him. We we were, had a long back and forth, and I was like, "Yo, I think you're really fucking talented. You're hilarious. Um, you should move to L.A." And he was he was st- we've all as young creators had that moment where it's like stay in college, go to college, or do the L.A. thing. Yeah. 